We're gonna start off with just doing some basic scanning and I'm gonna basically be showing just the biceps tendon because we're gonna be working on that here uh, surgically pretty soon. So we're just gonna identify the biceps in there. You can see it pretty clearly right there. And we're gonna follow down into the groove. And you can see it nicely. And of course you can see that issue of anisotropy, right? So if I tilt it this way, it becomes black, which means you can't really see the tendon. But then as I tilt it down, there's a tendon very nicely there. So the issue to start off is just to do a very basic injection, right? And so one of the basic injections you can do is doing this in short axis and then bringing in your needle just from the side to be able to come in. And you can see there's a needle there, pretty easy to see. And the best way to do this is just hit the other side of the tendon. Let me get a better view here. There we go, get you a better picture. Let me get myself better organized. There we go, and there's the needle there. And it can either come in from this side right there, and you can see I'm, I'm into the sheath right there. You can see the needle in the sheath below the kind of posture to the tendon. You also can actually move it and come to the other side if you wanted to. So that's the other thing you can do is come to the other side of the tendon. All I have to do is then inject. Now I'm not gonna inject right now just because we're gonna be using this from a surgical point of view, but just you can see that you have different options. And you can see to make sure you don't hit the tendon itself. But it's very easy to do, so you get in the sheath. Now if you want to inject outside the sheath, you can do that too, of course. Let's see, let me show you how to do that. There's our needle. And you can just get to the outside sheath if you want to, or just be in the sheath, which is more commonly to conject around the tendon itself. So that's one of the easiest ways to get to the biceps if you want to do a bicepital groove injection for the biceps tendon. The other thing you can also do is if we kind of come up, you can get to the subscap. So if you ever wanted to check the subscap here, and let's say you want to do an injection for the subscap, so, and there's a subscap, you can easily just inject the subscap right there. You can see I'm just right in that region right there. Let's see, get a better picture of the, of the needle. There you go. See the needle really well in there. And so you can see I'm right at that less tuberosity where I want to be. There we go. There's the needle there, very nice. And you can see I'm right there at the outside of the subscap. Right there, there you go, boom. So that's what's nice about being able to see this really easily. And these are really easy, quick. And what's nice about these is they're easily tolerated by the patient. So if you want to come down and hit that subscap area, there you go.